Hey guys, I hope you're having an awesome day. Today is a very requested video. We are gonna be talking about my favorite hair products. To give you guys a little bit of background on my hair before we get into the products, my hair is bleached. Because of that, it is pretty dry and a little bit brittle. I definitely get a lot of breakage on my ends. However, it's in a pretty good spot right now just considering where it was even like two or three years ago. If you guys have been around my channel for a long time then you know I have a whole slew of damaged hair videos as well as just like random hair dyeing and blonde hair toning. Um, I will link some of them down below if you're curious. I also have oily hair. I don't want to say I have thin hair, but I definitely have fine hair. Okay, so the first product that I want to share with you guys is a hair tool. Now this product here is a sponsored placement in this video, so I just want to be super upfront with you guys. I have owned this exact straightening brush for over a year, and I use it every single morning that I've showered the night before. If that makes sense. This is from the brand Vanity Planet. Now I probably should have cleaned it and taken all this nasty hair off. If you are a night showerer, showerer, I'm here to tell you this product will actually change your life because even though I go to bed with like clean dry hair, no matter what when I wake up in the morning I always have like wavy pieces that I either slept on funny or I kind of got like sweaty in the night and then my hair isn't like perfectly straight anymore. And this is where this comes in handy because the rest of my hair might be like totally fine but then I can just kind of go through and look okay this is kind of like doing a little wave here so now i'm just going to touch that up by literally just putting a brush through it and look at that i just feel like with a straightener i can't get really close to my scalp like that and get the same effect i also really like to give my hair kind of like an under flip because I have these shorter layers in the front, I really like to accentuate them. Then I just like to run it through a couple times. I think this thing goes up to like 370. I usually only have it on 250. I don't need to super straighten my hair because it's not curly, but it does go hotter and it does work on hair that is like curly or wavy that you are actually trying to get fairly straight. For me, it's just a better alternative than an actual straightening iron because one, it's easier. Two, I just feel like it's not damaging my hair as much because my hair isn't being sandwiched between two hot plates. You can save some money on this as well. The promo code is flowgirl, just all one word. This is not an affiliate code. I do not make any money off of this code whatsoever. That will save you 50%, which makes this only 40 US dollars, regular 80. $40 is a really good price for a straightening brush. Even if you buy like a Conair one from like Walmart, it's still gonna be like 40, 50. I've even seen the Infinity Pro by Conair be like $100 for their straightening brush. The Amica straightening brush, which you can get at Sephora, like don't get me wrong, I'm sure that's a really great straightening brush and I've seen a lot of people use it, but it's like over a hundred dollars. The next product category that I want to talk about are dry shampoos because I want to take care of my greasy roots right now. I got three favorites here. I have tried a ton of dry shampoo guys and I know that Batiste is one of the most popular ones, but for me the Batiste doesn't work that great. I mean, it does at first, but within like two hours, my hair is just so oily that it just eats right through it. My first favorite has got to be this IGK First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. This is heavy duty stuff. It has like that kind of gritty feel to it, which doesn't feel great on the hair, but it does look great. But I just want to spray some so that you guys can see. It does have a little bit of a white cast to it, but I find that it does go away as soon as you like just kind of rub it in a little bit. What I like about this is that it lasts for a really long time. I find that when I use this in the morning, I don't have to touch up like I would with the Batiste, for example. It is expensive though. I bought this at Sephora. It really does work, so I would absolutely recommend this. Another thing that I like about this is that it doesn't make your hair look really powdery and dull. It still like keeps your natural hair shine, if that makes sense. Another one that I want to call out is this Psst dry shampoo. I got this at Winners, which if you guys are in the States and you don't have a Winners around you, it's like a TJ Maxx. I really like this. It's very lightweight, much more lightweight than this IGK one. It just works really well. And again, it looks very natural. It doesn't look like you're spraying like 
a ton of powder on your hair. It does have a little bit of a white cast, same as the IGK one, but this is a really good one and it works better for me than Batiste. This is the Cake, the all powerful, easy blending, power cleansing, style extending, totally to die for tinted dry shampoo powder. Wow, what a name. So this comes in two shades. So if you have darker hair, you can use the one that's for darker hair. This one I really like because it's like actually a powder and I'm actually a super big fan of using like baby powder and cornstarch as like a dry shampoo. It works really well for me. And this actually has cornstarch in it. Oh, I didn't know if I knew that before. Anyway, I'm just gonna use this IGK one just to freshen up my roots for today because it's easy. That's better. And I also wanna give a shout out to this Schwarzkopf Got To Be Powderful Voluminizing Styling Powder. This is not really a dry shampoo. It is a very gritty, sticky powder that you can put onto your roots to really give you volume. So if you need a little bit of volume or you just want a little volume, this is super cheap. You can get it at the drugstore. Okay, we're on to shampoos. I've got two here. This is just kind of like my regular shampoo. This is the Redken Color Extend shampoo. It's meant for color treated hair, but I mean, I'm assuming anyone could really use it. This is basically empty. There's a teeny tiny bit left, so I need to buy a new one. But what I love about this particular formula is that it doesn't suds up very much. It just feels very, very gentle and like almost moisturizing at the same time as cleansing. Just, it's worth the money in my opinion. This other shampoo, this is the Ice Cream No Yellow Shampoo by the brand Inebria. Like this is really hard to come by, so I'm not totally sure. I buy this at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. Uh, I'm not really sure where else would stock this, but if you can get your hands on this purple shampoo, yeah, I should have probably said it was purple shampoo, then it is amazing. I usually do not like purple shampoos because I feel like they really dull down my blonde hair. They almost make it look darker. What I do in particular is I mix a little bit of this purple shampoo in which is my regular, this is just white shampoo. Kind of just mix that together in my hands and then apply to my head. And that way I'm getting like a little bit of both worlds. For conditioners i have two although i should say neither of these are like actually conditioners first one is this Afogee balancing moisturizer yes a hair moisturizer doesn't have a ton of like cocoa butters or oils or silicones in it that make your hair look and feel like super shiny and smooth which to be honest, many, many, many conditioners, like that's really all it is. It just coats your hair to make your hair look and feel nicer, which you know what? There's nothing really that wrong with it, but this is different. You put it in your hair, it doesn't feel like much. It feels pretty thin and like not super moisturizing, but when you rinse it out, your hair feels so hydrated and just like normal. So if you have damaged or brittle or dry hair, I absolutely recommend this. You can get it at Sally Beauty Supply. The other not conditioner conditioner is this Redken All Soft Heavy Cream. So this is kind of like a, I mean, it doesn't really say it's a mask. It says it's a super treatment for dry and brittle hair. I use a very, very tiny, like less than dime sized amount of this. And I just apply it to my ends, usually after I apply my Afogee Balancing Moisturizer. And this just makes my ends super soft and creamy and buttery and just easy to manage when I'm like brushing it out or blow drying it afterwards. This is magic in a bottle. Again, if you have that like brittle hair that just doesn't feel soft anymore, invest in this, you will not regret it. So I did mention having very oily scalp. So I do have two kind of treatment products that I do use for that. First up, the Moroccan Oil Oil No More Professional Scalp Treatment. This is a kind of serum that you apply a few drops onto your scalp, massage it in. You wait for like, I don't know, 20 minutes and then you rinse it out. When I was using this super regularly, I did feel like I could go an extra day without washing my hair, which is amazing for me. Usually I have to wash it every other day, kind of no matter what, or else it looks and feels just absolutely disgusting. This is like 40 bucks, so it's pricey, 
but if you've tried everything and you're really wanting to help with your oily scalp, I would recommend it. Giving it a try could be super worth it. And the other oily scalp product is this Lenore Grail Tonic. <laughs> this is a leave-in treatment for oily scalp and you just kind of spray it on your roots when your hair is still damp after you get out of the shower. And it just kind of like, honestly dries out your scalp. So I don't know how like how great it is for you. Again, it, it does the same thing for me as the Moroccan oil treatment where I can usually get an extra day of not washing my hair when I use this. Okay, my last category is like leave-in treatments. So my most used is definitely this milkshake leave-in conditioner. Smells like cake and icing and everything good and it just is very lightweight. It doesn't like coat my hair in a bunch of like greasy film it just is just enough moisture to like make it easier to brush my hair because my hair does get tangled pretty easily i get this at my salon so your salon might carry it as well it's just it's just really nice i've been really enjoying that lately for damage reconstruction this redken extreme anti-snap this is an anti-breakage leave-in conditioner. This was really great when I was having a ton of like bad breakage that was like happening kind of at this level a few months ago. It's like a cream that you pump out and apply on your damp hair and it really does help to strengthen those like broken and brittle ends so that they don't continue to break more. Okay, another Redken product, I'm sorry, I just, I just really trust Redken. This is the Pillow Proof, Pillow Proof Blow Dry Express Primer. So. This is kind of like a heat protectant, but also is supposed to make your hair dry a little bit faster too. To be honest, I don't know if it really helps my hair dry faster, but I do like it as a heat protectant. It's one of the only ones that I found that I feel really makes a difference. I would absolutely recommend this. And as I was saying earlier, my hair is like fairly fine. So I do like to thicken it up with something. This is the Moroccan oil thickening lotion. I remember when I got my hair done a few times ago, the woman who was doing my hair used this product and I was so in love with how my hair looked and felt. It really does add bulk to my hair somehow. And it just makes my hair feel like really nice and soft. It's a cream product that I just put a couple little pumps into my hand and apply to my damp hair before I blow dry. And it makes my hair feel super thick and super soft. Okay guys, I guess that is it. For some reason I thought there were a lot more products, but I guess not, we got through them all. I hope that this video like answered some of the questions that you guys might have about my hair. I get them all the time, what my favorite products are, how I got my hair to be in a better state after it being so damaged a few years ago. Right now, these are the products that I use in my hair routine Thank you guys so much for watching this very, very long video. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.